so I want to live in something that's quintessential French. After living in Rochester, New York for 25 years, Peg and Bix DeBase have decided to trade in their steady incomes for a more bohemian lifestyle by moving to Amboise, France. Peg, a psychotherapist, wants to set up her own practice with a European flair. And Bix, an artist, would like to reach a larger market with his artwork. Step one, finding a real estate agent. And they found one. His name is Simone, and he specializes in expatriates. I don't care if I live in a shack. As long as I can do my artwork and listen to my music, I'll live anywhere. And I'm noticing that a lot of these properties here are mostly too small and in the city. Um, I want something in the country. This one is in your budget, madame. The beautiful. Open the window. The, the, the garden outside the gardens. Beautiful, well, no? It is. It's beautiful. Beautiful, nice. no? Very nice. Uh, is there a, a large bathroom? This is the bathroom? Beautiful. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and I, this is not going to work. But you're not very tall, madame. I'm used to more room. I, I, I can't live in this. I, I need more space. I'm sorry. This is perfect. I love the garden. The house is about the right size for me. There's only one problem. It's just so close to the street. But I'm allergic to cats. And I love this place and I like that they have art, but I'd probably want to replace this with the jackrabbit or something like that. But this is really nice. I liked it, it was really nice, but I was hoping for granite countertops. Nice curb appeal. Great front hall. Oh, I love the deck. This would work for your parents when they come. You know, I think I would keep the piano and I could probably keep my accordion under the window over. The lawn is gonna take a lot to maintain. Yeah, but we'll have people to do that. Yeah. I'm not sure I, how I feel about the red wallpaper. It's a little small, but it could work for my home office. Since we started taping the show, um, things have gotten a little better. I've had a few internet orders, and it's allowed us to be able to increase our budget, and you know, we're starting to look at some bigger places. long driveway but it doesn't snow that much here so we wouldn't have to pay for it to be plowed it's not bad there's no garage but we could probably store our grill in this place yeah and the boat would probably fit there too yeah I think so great TV room we could put our screen right above the fireplace hey this would be perfect for bocce you're right Are you prepared to live the lifestyle along the river? Yeah. Oh, well, Simone, I understand that. Uh, I grew up on the St. Lawrence River. My parents had a summer place. Ah, oh, was it Bolt Castle? Mm. Uh, something like that, yeah. The time has come for them to meet with Simone to decide. Ped was not happy with the short shower head in Maison Claire, and Vieux Manoir was a little too close to the road. Claude de Lucet was perfect 
except there were no granite countertops. Chateau Amboise had a beautiful yard, except they didn't like the wallpaper. Shen and So had everything they wanted, but was a little over their budget, until Bix sold a few of his paintings. And so they decided on Shen and So, and after adding a few of their own personal touches, they now call it home. Viva la France!